Manual Lands by Charles Hoy Fort, Part 2, Chapter 14K. I think, myself, that there was one approximately great, wise astronomer. He was Tycho Brahe. For many years, he would not describe what he saw in the sky, because he considered it beneath his dignity to write a book. The undignified, or more or less literary, or sometimes altogether literary, astronomers who do write books uncompromisingly say that when a luminous object is said to have moved to greater degree than could be considered illusory in a local sky of this earth, it is a fire balloon. It is not possible to find in the writings of astronomers who so explain mention of the object that was seen by Kogia, night of August 1st, 1871. It seems that this thing was not far away, and did appear only in the local sky of this earth, and if it did come from outer space, how it could have boarded this earth, if this earth moves at a rate of 19 miles a second, or 1 mile a second, is so hard to explain that why Proctor and Hind, with their passionate itch for explaining, never took the matter up, I don't know. Upon August 1st, 1871, an unknown luminous object was seen in the sky of Marsilius, by Cogia, Comps Rendis, Volume 73, page 398. According to description, it was a magnificent red object. It appeared at 10.43 p.m. and moved eastward, slowly, until 10.52.30. It stopped, moved northward, and again, at 10.59.30, was stationary. It turned eastward again, and, at 11.320, disappeared, or fell behind the horizon. Upon this night Venus was within three weeks of primary greatest brilliance, inferior conjunction occurring upon September 25, 1871.